Hi friends, I am Anuradha and I welcome you to the series Performance Testing using Locust and we are at the junction where we have learned to send HTTP GET request and in our last lecture we learned to send HTTP POST request but we were left wondering how we can actually see the response which we have received, right? And in this lecture we will be exactly doing that and we will be viewing HTTP response in Locust. But how? We, what we'll be actually doing? We'll be actually taking the help of response object which we can generate with the help of Python request library. And so what does that mean? Let's see. So you know that, right? We send get request and post request using http locust client attribute which is in turn formed by instantiation of http session class from request library right and this this class this http cli locust client attribute sends request and receives when it receives response it generates response object okay and what is this response object? This response object is the key to access various response elements and not only response elements, we can also access the elements of original request which we sent and this is really powerful and this is what we will be using in our request in our locust script to view HTTP response which we have received. So let's proceed. So friends, I'm on my PyCharm project and what I have done, I have created copy of the script which we created in our previous lecture where we posted data, right? And what we did, we logged into new2demo.com using qml1 at gmail.com and uh, what we received, we received a response and in this, what we will be doing, we will be accessing response element and verifying that whether our response is matching the response which we have received here on this site right and uh, we'll go to PyCharm project and uh, we'll be doing something like we'll be creating a variable called response and we'll be storing whatever is returned by this post request into response variable okay you can name it anything now as I said once we have this response object in our hand we can access all the response elements say status code and then we can access many more things right so response dot headers and response dot we can also access original request right and or not exactly original request dot say headers so let's run this script So I, I have instead, uh, I have run the script and uh, I have activated users and I'm waiting for my HTTP response statistics to populate over here. And once I have received the response, I will verify through console that whether I am able to see response elements. So I have received uh, response statistics and as you can see, we um, uh, uh, we wanted to print to uh, status quo we wanted to print response header and then the original request header itself now let's do some more thing let's do let's just remove all this let's just put response dot text so what this will do this will give us the whole soul picture of what is there in the response itself and let's run this script again So once you receive the response, you get this complete, big, humongous response content. Isn't it inconvenient to see all this response on console? And uh, what I suggest we should have a log file over here. Let me run this with one more option and that is log file. This is an option which we can use and create a log file within the directory from where we are running test and this time you won't see anything on console whatever will be there will be in the script and let me run the script again so there is nothing generated over here and all is generated is locust.log of course our all the requests all the whatever we have printed will be coming over 
in this lucas.log isn't it convenient and what we can search is say flight finder right and we have this and we can also validate different parts right so you can see the complete response being available here and that gives us satisfaction our request is successful in this lecture we learn how to access different response elements and also how to generate log file in locust by the way you can find all these scripts which i'm generating as part of the series at github of qa milestone academy and i'll mention the link in resources itself and you can go and access these scripts over here in locust underscore test okay so bye for now